Thank you very much, Niall, for that very kind introduction. Governor Martin O'Malley, Ambassador Collins, uh, Consul uh, General Noel Kilkenny, ladies and gentlemen, I want to thank you, first of all, for your invitation to be with you here this evening and uh, to be associated with this event, which is organised by Irish America magazine. And I want to compliment uh, Nilo Dowd and Patricia Harty for the work that they have done uh, in acknowledging the work that Irish Americans are doing across a range of fields and here tonight uh, in the area of business and finance. I want to thank Brian Ruan for his very kind remarks uh, about what is happening uh, in Ireland and for the confidence that he has expressed uh, in our country. And I know that that is something that comes very credibly from Brian because one of the things that I read uh, in the magazine comment that Brian made, which I thought was, was very telling, he was asked a question uh, in the magazine which is associated with uh, tonight's uh, event. Uh, what advice would he give to young people in Ireland today? And his advice was to be positive. That even though it's difficult for young graduates coming out of university to get employment opportunities at a time when employment is uh, hard to come by, to look at the opportunities, not just in Ireland, but to look at them worldwide. And coming from somebody who grew up and graduated himself in the 1980s, which was a decade when such challenges uh, faced people before, I think that that is something very inspiring for young people indeed. And of course, I think it also uh, fits very much with the spirit of Irish America. The great thing about the Irish in America and what has happened and this went over generations and over centuries, was that the Irish in America are people who traveled a long journey and came a long way. You look at this building and you have to wonder uh, you know, how many Irish people worked on the building of this great building. How many Irish people worked on the building of this great city? How many Irish people are working today uh, in uh, its reconstruction? I had the privilege this week here in New York to honour a young man who gave his life working for this city in the service of this city, fireman uh, Joseph Hunter of Irish descent who lost his life uh, in 9-11 and I had the honour of presenting to his mother the very first certificate uh, of Irish heritage, which is a new initiative that we're taking uh, to acknowledge uh, the Irish heritage of so many people who live here in this country. And what has, what characterised him and what characterises, I think, the story of Irish America is the tenacity, the courage, the enterprise, the never say die in the face of adversity. And that's what's characterising the story of Ireland's road to economic recovery. The new Irish government, which Niall has, uh, and I thank him for his, his kind remarks about it, which took over six months ago. We took over a country which was already in an, IMF, an EU IMF programme. In circumstances where it's fair to say, I think, that the morale of our people was very low. And as President Clinton once said, the only thing that you can do in a crisis is to face into it and to solve it. And that's what we have done, and that's what we're doing, and that's what we're going to continue to do. On banking, we decided... <laughs> on banking, we conducted the most rigorous stress tests of our banks, and we found where the bottom of the pit was. And we committed to the recapitalization of the banks. We made the decision early, and we decided to restructure our banking system. And we have been rewarded very recently by the decision of a number of investors here in the United States and Canada to commit 1.6 billion euro to the Bank uh, of Ireland. On, the public, on, on our budget deficit, yes, it is very big. And we decided that, yes, we will get that deficit down and we will deal with the uh, difficulties that we have in our public finances. And that's not something, I think, that the government of Ireland should be given credit for. It is something that the people of Ireland should be given credit for, because they are making adjustments. 
And more than that, we also want to give back. And one of the things that I have been struck by this week as I attend the General Assembly of the United Nations is how small, ultimately, this world is. It's not just a global economy. It is also a global society. And we are all interdependent. And the one thing that Ireland can do and we will do as a small state, a small nation, but a nation that has given so much, 70 million people around the world who claim Irish heritage and who belong to the wider Irish family, we will contribute in a positive way to the challenges that face our globe and that face uh, our world and make our, cont our contribution. And we will do it proudly and keep the Irish flag flying. Thank you very much indeed.